How's it going everyone? Canon's Taylor here, welcome back to another unboxing and today I bring you a first edition Wing Raiders booster box. Let's hope this video goes a bit better than my previous one. No damage cards please. I mean I'm a bit worried that there's one full card in every pack so I assume there's going to be ones at the back but I don't want there to be, fingers crossed, or at least they don't get damaged. And as for the cards, uh, only nine this time. There's the, I'll pop up the little image. Bing! There it is. Uh, some quite cool looking cards. Not as many as I hoped to want to pull, but it's more of a chance to hopefully get the ones I want. And no doubles. I think this, now nah, 24. Just please don't be in the back. That is a bad move. And don't do it for that Millennium Pack when it comes out, you bastards. Oh, come on. Come on. I do have to say, I do like the cover art. It's quite nice. I'm thinking of even getting back into this series. It looks alright. The XYZ one or whatever it was called I didn't really like. Please. Don't be cruel. Raid Raptor. Gem Knight Pearl. Phantom Knight. Yeah. They've done it. It's one I want. Oh. Damn it. Why Konami? It's like they don't realise the cards... The, the back one acts like a barrier. That's pretty good, actually. Number 66, rank up. Zubaba General. Ooh, I like you. Crane Crane. Oh, I like you too. Raid Raptor Fuzzy. Forbidden Chalice, wow. Phantom Knights and Icarus Attack. Road, uh, road Raptor. Uh, yeah, I'll put you in, even though I can't pronounce you. Road Raptor. Road Raptor. Road Raptor. Ghost Trick a la carte. Uh -huh. That's not one I want. Oh, I'll put all the hollows in a different one. Sorry, I'll probably. Uh, in that pile, I mean. Sorry, I'll probably pull out another one. Mind you, whatever ones are damaged, I'm putting in the box. Oh, it looks pretty good. No, it's damaged. Mystical Spain. I wouldn't mind. The ones that I don't want are nice. The ones I do want are bad. Reinforcements of the army. Huh. Don't you dare. Oh. It's one I wanted. Looks alright. Singing, readiness, Bujinki. I'm not motivated now because I know they're going to be damaged. It's just not fun. That's bad. I love doing unboxings. Harpy Harpdis. I like it. You son of a bitch! It's one I wanted. Good. Mystical Space, Nebug Nest, Call the Haunted, Reinforcement Army, Ranker, 
La la la, Joe Bobby. And of course, it's not one I wanted. Wow, I can see that from here. It's alright, it's one I didn't want. Forbidden Chalice, Crane Crane. Reminds me of Iron Giant for some reason. From a Final Fan. Is that what they call it? I can't remember Iron Giants. They kick your ass. I mean, you think these wouldn't get damaged because there's so many in a pile together, but. You'd be surprised. The back one is always the barrier as well as the front. It's a goodie. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, it looks like a Millennium Puzzle. Bottomless Trap Hole. They're bringing in some uh, classic ones lately. Come on, come on, come on. Is it one? Is it? No, no. Ah, oh, bum. Well, this proves my theory that because it's at the back, they get damaged. I mean, you know, two different boxes, the same sort of format. Oh, it's a beauty. Oh, it's a spell. Of course. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna work from the top to the bottom because it seems like when I'm doing it, it sort of makes it worse. Like trying to pull them out. I can see that one from here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Mystical space. Yeah, call the haunted. No, they're hollows, are they? No. Nah. Oh shit! It's a good one. It's an effect monster! Ooh, I like you. Oh, it's another one. one. I have a shot every time I say that. <laughs> it's an effect monster, come on. Yes! Alright, that's good. Excellent, we'll put that with the pile just in case we get another one and it's a bit crisper. Good one. Oh, I can't stop saying it now. <laughs> it's a trap. Oh, I can see it from here. <laughs> That's a nasty one. Don't worry, it's a trap. I really like her. It's really pretty. I think it's just Harpy Lady. She's transformed. It actually looks a bit older there. Alright, come on. It's an effect monster. Yes! Alright, it's one we wanted. The, uh, the Phantom Knights of Science boots. Just looks funny looking. I 
I'm just shaking because it seems the back one's always moved up a bit. Oh. It's a trap, of course. Go the haunted. Hmm. It's an effect. Come on. Come on. Yes. Awesome. I think that was. Oh no. Nah. Oh yes. Yes, it was actually one damaged. Or oh, it wasn't, but I wanted a fresh one. Okay, that's cool. Awesome. I seem to be doing all right. I'm just taking it easy, opening them carefully. Oh, you can see that from there. Oh. Oh. Nah, not what I want. See, that annoys me when people on eBay are saying brand new because they've pulled it out of a pack. They don't say if it's mint or not. They just say, oh, brand new, fresh out of the pack when it looks like that. You know, that's cheeky. That's wrong. Oh, it's slightly, but it should be okay. I think we got that one. Yes. I think the other one was a bit better. I might do the same with this box. If they're quite cheap, I'll buy another one of these. Make a redemption. I just hope I'm not the only one that has this problem, like, you know, the fact that you shouldn't be putting them at the back. It's an X-Wing! Yeah! Phantom Kings with a break sword. Awesome. And it doesn't look... Oh, hang on. Oh, yes, it's one. It's actually not too bad. Just a shame this is going to be my last unboxing until Comic-Con. You know, it shouldn't have to be like this. Like, oh, it's a bad one. And it's one I didn't want. Okay, that's okay. This has gone from an unboxing to a praying that they're not damaged. This is just like the... Oh, it's a bad one. This is just like the issue with the new starter decks. They're just peeling too much. There's a trap. Who cares? Or do I just take my chances and... I might just buy the cards. I'm not going to buy them. I mean, if this box had been perfect, I would have. But the fact that this one also is having problems, that just... Raises alarms for me. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, 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 three of them. I pray they don't do this for the Millennium Pack. Oh, that's a doozy. That's a bad one. And that's one I wanted. Oh man. I'm not even gonna bother. I don't even know what to think. I mean, these last two boxes have just been absolutely brutal. Oh, I don't know whose idea this was. But don't do it. Please don't do it for the new ones. It seems to be the only ones with the one foil card in every pack. But please. 
if you are watching this Konami or anyone who is watching this and can report it to Konami, just don't do the foils at the back or even at the front. Please don't. You can see in two of my videos that I'm having this problem. And I hope people, I don't want to hope, but I hope the people that do this, do the, uh, bleh, do these ones are having the same issue. Because then it just shows Konami and, you know, the Yu Gi Oh! you know, franchise that, oh crap, we better not do that, that's bad. <laughs> Let's change it back to the middle card. I mean, at least if it was in the middle, it was protected. You know, it has that little bit of a barrier. And then you don't have to worry. I've been worrying through this whole unboxing, hoping for the cards that I wanted don't get peeled. And I think I've probably pulled out about three or four that weren't damaged. And I mean, that's pretty bad considering the amount of money I've paid. And I mean, if I, I don't even know if I pulled out a card that's worth a high price. It's no point being a high price card if it's damaged. I can put down new, but it's not going to be min. It's going to be like an excellent condition, which is a... You know, what I don't want to do, I, I'm probably never going to sell my cards anyway, but do you understand where I'm coming from? I mean, it's a big problem with eBay, I'm trying to buy cards. They list it as new, you know, fresh out of the pack, but it could be in great, excellent condition. But, you know, they can say that it was fresh out of the pack new, and people will actually buy into it. Oh, it's a new card, it's probably mint, but it's not. And they can get away with that, unfortunately. If they read it was a fresh out of the pack mint, different story. You can look at it and go, well, this doesn't look mint. You said it was mint. Now I want my money back. But if they say it's fresh out of the pack and don't put the grade, it's Russian roulette. And you take the risk and unfortunately you won't be able to, you know, take advantage. Like, well, I wouldn't say take advantage, but take it into a position of trying to get a refund or, you know, a replacement. It's just, it's really tricky, you know, and some people are using that to get, you know, a quick couple of bucks, which is horrible. <laughs> I wish they wouldn't do that. I like to know what the card looks like, and I probably won't be buying another one of the Ring Raiders or the, uh, the High Speed Riders. I might just take the gamble and try and buy them single, you know. Oh, is sing I was going to say singly. Is that even a word? <laughs> and we'll see what happens from there. And I just really do hope that they don't do this anymore. Putting them at the back. Alrighty, people. I hope you've enjoyed. I do apologise if this is not a really fantastic unboxing video. But this is how I feel. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. If it's not mint, I'm going to flip. It should be mint to near mint. Not excellent condition. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, depending how Comic Con goes, I'll buy a couple, and uh, even if I do sort of like a random video where I buy loose packs just to keep it going, and I will see you all soon.